Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer, and today we continue our journey through the second chapter of Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. Hear now these words, these beautiful words known as the Christ hymn from the second chapter of the book of Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death upon a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted Christ and given him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God our Creator. I love this. This is believed to be one of the earliest sung hymns in the church. They believe that this was part of the liturgy and worship, like we might say the Apostles' Creed today. This is what they would proclaim their faith to be. Let the same mind, or that is attitude, let the same attitude be in you that is in Christ Jesus. So we reaffirm the call that we heard of yesterday, the call of humility that puts the needs of others first. Paul is reminding us that this is exactly what Jesus did. Jesus put the mind or his mind was focused on the needs of the other. And so God and all the magnificent wonder that God is emptied himself, humbled the divine self and came to earth as a bag of bones like you and I. Subject to the world's whims, the pain, the suffering of the world, the teasing the brokenness, the oppression that the world could do. And Jesus did it all so that you and I might have a real and living example of what it means to live in humility. Again, this doesn't mean that we let others walk all over us. But what it means is, is that we are willing to put others before ourselves. That we, like Christ, have that attitude where we will say the world is in need of salvation. And we are willing to do something even when it takes us away from the things that we may want to be doing. This is what it means to have the same attitude as Christ. To work for the beloved community of God where there is grace, where there is love, where there is acceptance and compassion and hope. Let us pray. Holy God, Jesus, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, the Savior of the world, the friend of our broken hearts, help us to be more and more like you, to allow this world to be healed because we choose to put them first, to allow this world to know that there is hope, that there is great possibilities for the world instead of just working for ourselves. Grant us the attitude of gratitude and humility that is found in Christ. Come, fill us so we may move through today. Amen. Remember that you are loved, that you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can.
and have an awesome day.